Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome back to another All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs love tarot reading. All Signs love reading. And as is very often the case, usually the case here at the Tarot Closet, All Signs love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. <laughs> and it's always about how they feel about you. How do you feel about them? What's going on in the connection? What is, what's the next move here as well? Speaking of which, I, and this was also just being sliding off, revealing also the Three of Swords, okay? King of Cups is where it's wanting to be. Also, right here in the partnership placement. Queen of Wands in reverse, King of Swords. They're ready to talk to you, but they're a little bit nervous. It does look like this message is going to be coming in probably as a surprise. Maybe it's already come in. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. We see that they are in their fields for you. This is where the energy is the strongest, and it's the King of Cups. Pisces energy. The King of Cups is, well, the master of emotions, but <laughs> their emotions are on display here. And it looks like that is what they're coming in here to tell you. There's just a little bit of lack of confidence. King of Swords, Gemini, and Mercury energy, of course. Mercury is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, the ruling planet for Gemini, who's all about communication, information, learning, sharing. And we see that the King of Swords here has been thinking for a really long time what they want to say to you. They're being kind of strategic about it. Maybe that's why the lack of confidence here in the Queen of Wands in reverse. But we also see in the Ace of Wands that, yeah, it might just be coming through because and the partnership placement is the Ten of Wands, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So it's telling us that if it hasn't already happened, the end of this, no contact, no communication and or in separation is coming. A renewal here. Three of Swords revealing itself, Saturn and Libra energy. So validation of what we already know, no contact, no communication and or in separation. These, the breakup. For some of you, maybe it's even a legal breakup, but also the sadness. So there's still some heartbreak here. And I, it's pretty obvious why, because your person is wanting to come in here and communicate with you and open up really in a very emotionally open, vulnerable, available way. This is a really beautiful energy to come in here, King of Swords and the King of Cups. So yeah, how long has the wait been going on? Okay, <laughs> maybe it comes back, maybe it doesn't. I wasn't quite ready <laughs> to get into your reading, but your reading was ready to get into, to get here to us. The Queen of Swords and the Death card. Yeah, this truth is gonna change everything. This is of course, not only transformational energy, of course, Something is about to change here, Scorpio energy. But this is also the death of their ego. Coming here with the King of Cups is telling me that they are really coming in here in a really different vibe. This is somebody who's not looking to have any kind of discord and they're coming here with the truth, which I'm sure you have been waiting for. Libra ruled by Venus energy. It's the Queen of Swords. She's kind of my protege to justice, also Libra and Venus energy. And of course, that Libra energy is connected to infinity. So for some of you, this could be around to inflame communication. It doesn't mean, of course, that it's for everybody. That's also around a particular love, infinite. You know, I love you forever, forever kind of love, just a particular connection. And that's also, of course, the truth. It's balance and it's renewal. And one of the things that needs to happen in order for your person to come here with the truth of how they feel is they need to be in a balanced energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, and not, excuse me, <laughs> I just want to fix this a little bit. Because when you are 
I wanted to say not in shadow and not ego, because when we're imbalanced, of course, which is all of us sometimes, because we all have our divine feminine, divine masculine energies, we come from a place of shadow. And it's telling me that they're coming out of their ego, they're coming out of the place of shadow, out of their ego and coming here into their higher self energy. So this, if hasn't already happened, it could be really soon. In order to, to bring this true thing, they needed to get something kind of their head on straight, I'm hearing. That's interesting. I mean, and the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords are both here. So the Queen is, is literally saying, well, okay, if you're going to finally come here and communicate, you need to be honest about it. So it's both coming from your person's ego and higher self, but of course, also you're both here. And this is the conversation that is about to take place here. It could entail a little bit of conflicting energy once the conversation is undergoing. Maybe there's some something that I'm kind of feeling, not interrogation, <laughs> but there's something that you really need to hear from them that you're getting out that, okay, look, just wanted to reveal the Seven of Swords in reverse, and that's leaving the Queen of Swords here. Okay, so your reading really has begun. I'm going to continue moving with my shuffling that I like to do and just tell you a few things. But before I do, this is coming out of being stuck and having issues around commitment, commitment issues, literally. It could be around other choices and it could be around romance, but it could be a lot of things, work, money, of course, other romantic partnerships, other people, interference, and a lot of the commitment issues we see here too are just maybe an overwhelming energy with feelings. Whatever the case is, this wanted to reveal, and it's this is clarity. This is coming out of that stuck energy. And we know that they're coming out of their ego. They're balancing their energies so that they can come from their higher self and come here with the truth of how they feel, what else, what might be around the Seven of Cups. Of course, it's coming in reverse. Nonetheless, Venus and Scorpio energy. So this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there is a message, perhaps messages here for you. So welcome, whether you are here in real time, which is March <laughs> 2024, or you're here months, even years later. It's really about when, you, when you're when you here, when you have, I want to show you this energy, when you have when you and the reading have found each other, that's what I want to say. I want to show you this energy, but before I do, because your reading is just moving along quite fast, I just want to remind you that down in the description are all the playlists. Of course, today's the playlist for today. You're all signs, tarot readings. These are love readings for the collective, and I probably need to change the title, but the playlist name is Love Tarot Readings Messages from Your Person. Anyway, they're down below, all 12 zodiac signs, and if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings, so feel free to explore. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone, so always take what resonates and let the rest go. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. It helps keep the channel healthy and moving so that I can continue bringing you readings. So thank you so much for that. Let's see what is going on. We have the Eight of Cups and we have the Empress. This is the energy that's coming through. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's clear. It might even be a little bit like this <laughs> because there's a little bit of sideway walking with the Queen of Wands in reverse because that is just, you know, it's a hot and cold energy. It's a little bit of fear, a little bit of lack of confidence. Eight of Cups, Saturn and Pisces energy in this reversal energy is your person here today your specific person, the person you've come here for, maybe it's someone you weren't expecting, coming back in. It's an action number, of course, and it's also around some karma. So what exactly is this truth around? I feel like you already know, and perhaps some things are going to be getting revealed. Because it's also a strong validation with the Empress coming here. And I really love this, because the Empress is coming in here also with the King of Cups. And this is a really... Again, it's a really emotionally available, open energy. They're coming in here to open up, speak the truth. They're wanting to restart this. So this is not somebody who's just coming in to 
speak the to tell you how they feel and speak the truth of what else they want to communicate with you it's really clear they, they're kind of i want to say i feel like everybody's over it it's been a lot to not communicate they're a little bit afraid around this truth queen of wands in reverse here with the queen of swords really interesting yet we have the king of swords in the upright we know the communication is going to be taking place eventually and the king of cups so yeah a really open energy also, that eight, again, is connected to infinity. So for some of you, this could be around your twin flame. But again, that's also around a particular kind of connection, which is also really clear with the Empress energy. It's also around the truth, balance, and renewal. So yeah, this is what I'm feeling coming in. And with the Empress, of course, this is divine feminine energy, a very giving and healing, of course, Mother Earth energy. The Empress can create and grow anything, abundance, fertility, new beginnings. It could be for some of you, you are your parent, your person is a parent, and maybe your parents together. That's probably going to be the case for some of you. I know it's not for everybody. Whatever the case is, this is the divine energy, divine number, divine timing, communication. And it is bringing your person in here a double whammy because... The Queen of Swords, of course, is also coming in with the truth. And with the King of Cups, again, it's just a, it's a nice energy. I really like that. All the elements, of course, are accessible by the Empress, water, air, earth, and fire. And of course, the Venus energy. So this is all, all done with love and healing energy, a mother, a very mother earth energy, of course. So I like this energy that's coming in of how they're coming here what happened five of swords but it's also coming in reverse it's making amends yeah what was going on look it's county corner here with the ten of wands and it came down here with the six of pentacles it's a reciprocal energy the moon and taurus energy the moon of course around the emotional energy around what's been hidden, the truth. This is also a making amends and apologetic energy. For some of you, there maybe was a person as a third party. You can actually see three people in here. But the third party could also be around your person being in their head, being stuck in their head, I want to say. And again, it can be around other things, you know, work, money, that we saw that seven of cups coming in reverse, which is, getting clarity it's not being stuck around making a decision around commitment anymore and we see that and what they're giving here definitely is how they feel what else is in that cup with the king of cups making amends energy is here and it is connected here with the ace of wands again the aries leo sagittarius energy of getting inspired to connect with you which we already know this is so clear. It's just one of those readings today. So the Queen of Swords is like my protege for justice. And here's justice. She's here. Libra and Venus energy. She's here ready to get your person to be honest about how they feel, to open up, to come in here in a way that, again, is an open, emotionally open way, vulnerable way, supportive way, empathy, six of pentacles, I mean, king of cups, six of pentacles, justice, it's really clear. And that six is also an energy of restoring harmony and it's a healing energy. And it's around, I wanna say, more than one person. Again, we are seeing three people here also in the six of cups. So it can very well be, of course, that this third party energy isn't just about your person and their ego because that's been really clear coming out of their ego. We saw that in the death energy in order, the death card, in order to balance out their energies and to get clear and honest with themselves so they can be clear and honest with you. So that's really clearly happening. Also, a strong validation here with justice. This is, of course, an 11. It's a master number. And that is new beginnings. And that 11, of course, comes to a two. And that's your connection. And that's also the balance. There are the scales. Here are the scales here too. Of course, this is not, <laughs> this is not a Libra energy. This is 
not justice, but there are the scales. There are the scales. There are the scales here. So balanced energy in order to come here and speak this truth, to be clear how they feel, the sword energy, transactional clarity in your relationship, truth information. It's for lack of a better <laughs> word, it's one of those readings again where I feel like I keep saying clear. Look, the seven of the seven of wands came back in reverse. Super strong validating reading already. Two of Pentacles does not surprise me because when I was in the Seven of Cups, when, when the messages were coming in, I kept seeing the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, what is the what what have been the issues? Why have they been in that Seven of Cups when it's when it was in the upright? Because it may just be turning here now with commitment issues, too many choices. Again, work money, another romantic connection, something going on. And you can literally see it here too in the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn and Saturn energy. Saturn energy, you know, slow some things down. Structure and rules, obstacles, also connected to karma. That's, of course, an eight in action. And yeah, that's connected to karma. Infinity, truth, balance, and renewal. It's all here. So you're here, your relationship. What is that other pentacle? You know, it's definitely connected, third party. What is it? Is it just their ego and commitment issues? Or is there some kind of other contract? You have both feet out the door, look. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So are they getting here in the nick of time? Have they already? As I put this down, I want to pick this back up again. Because Seven of Pentacles, Venus and Taurus energy in reverse here. It was in the upright. How... When did you make a decision? How long ago did you start really moving out? Or for some of you, maybe even getting ready to or closing the door. Whatever the case is, this is you waiting here patiently, having put in a lot of time into, let's say, your garden here, and harvesting and all the crops. And here you see the Six of Pentacles. That's the reciprocal energy that you're longingly looking at as you lean on your staff. Your wisdom stick also connected to the hermit and the magician and we could go on but looking here waiting for this the six of pentacles and there's that seventh pentacle which you're keeping nearby as you assess the situation controlling what you can as you hold your wand and letting go of what you can't so has time run out for them to fix this is it too late because we see here in the Page of Wands, too, that they're they're looking at it, you know, it's like a student energy, you know, a ch you could say an immature childish energy, Page of Wands, getting this idea quite literally, looking at the wand, the energy of love taking the action. And yeah, I mean, you could see it here. So because this came in reverse, you know, and that's telling us that what we already know, that the Six of Pentacles was in reverse. And it might have just only come up. It could be, you know, when did you already hear from them? When will you hear from them? But we're seeing it coming in here. So we know where the energy is heading. But with you, with one foot, maybe even two feet out the door, maybe even completely out the door, it's telling us that, yeah, there has been a selfish energy. You've just been kind of putting time and effort. It's been one-sided, like you were expressing and definitely on the emotional end, expressing how you feel and being emotionally available and open. And I feel that they were closed around that because this is, of course, around your relationship. And it's also clear that things were not moving anymore. So you are, again, maybe totally out or one foot out, two feet out. But here they come in here. Is it in the nick of time? Look at this. Coming out of the Seven of Cups, now it's in reverse. Coming here with the giving energy. Here with the Ace of Wands, so that Page of Wands, you know, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands handing it over, coming out of nowhere here, energy of just here I am. And yeah, it's addressing this Two of Pentacles in reverse here. And this is a struggling energy and it's an overwhelming energy and it's telling us that there, this is around the inability to commit. And why is the question. Some of you already know, I, it's rhetorical <laughs> as I say that because... It could just be, you know, overwhelmed by how they feel, commitment issues just in general. 
you know, and they're the third party, their ego. And we see them coming out of that. But, you know, we know that the truth of how they feel is coming, but is there a truth around something else? That's the question. And I feel like you already know that. Because one of those is yours, your relationship, and one is a relationship to something else that they have. So was it not being able to, they just can't anymore? Was it not, not giving enough time to the connection because they were overworking? Is there another romantic energy involved? Is there something else like interesting coming in, devil energy that they might be participating in or some energy around them? Is this around location? cultural, religious differences, whatever it is, it, it's clearly here. The commitment issues, it's just a matter of exactly what it is. And it, obviously, I feel like most of you already know, and it's going to be different for everybody. So here's a validation of the, I want to say the selfish energy. Yeah, this is kind of, this is what stopped everything from moving. Look, so the hangman in reverse, Pisces energy, major arcana, of course, and yeah, it's the indecision. It's not really acting. It's some selfish energy. It's connecting to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And that's the lack of like the long-term energy commitment. So were you already, had you already, were you already in a long-term commitment? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Obviously, this was something that happened here and it's around something else. So whether it's just commitment because they're afraid of commitment, overwhelmed by how they feel about you. Were they lying about that? Or is there something else they were lying about? Because that was the, this is the disconnect here. And that's exactly why. It's not surprising why I see you here with one foot, possibly two feet out the door. But you're also connecting with this Queen of Wands in reverse energy. And that's a little bit of apathy too, and kind of a little bit of anger maybe, but apathy like whatever. You know, it's like Four of Cups energy of, you want it, it's almost like when a little kid is saying something <laughs> and, they, and they, they say, yeah, fine, then I'm gonna run away and they take their lunchbox. <laughs> and you're like, okay, bye. And they keep looking back at you. It's a little bit of that energy because a little bit of bluffing energy, that's what I wanna say is what I'm feeling. But that's not going to even be for everyone because there is also an energy for some of you, I feel like, that are, are just maybe checking in and have gone. Then again, if you're here checking in, there's probably a reason for that. So are you really completely gone? <laughs> right in the middle of the deck. Okay, so yeah, I don't think you're gone. <laughs> it's the Two of Cups coming here. Venus and Cancer energy. So you're still thinking about each other and you still love each other. The soulmate energy here is really strong. And again, if you're on a twin flame journey, a lot of healing energy here too. This is your partnership. So decision here is somebody proposing something. So we know they're coming in here with the truth of how they feel about you, but also the truth around why things stop moving, the commitment issues. And again, what is that other pentacle? You know, pentacle, relationship, commitment, partnership, contract be a lot of things, of course, money, love, work, distance, cultural, religious differences, whatever. So we know they're coming in with that. What else is the truth? The truth of how they feel is definitely coming. King of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Swords, Justice, Queen of Swords, and we saw the Empress, of course, and that Death Card energy with them coming in in a really, really different vibe here. So the truth of how they feel is coming. They love you. And it looks like you love them too. Maybe that's why you're here peeking in. But what is around the proposal energy? You know, this can sometimes be around marriage. Another one of these energies just popping in <laughs> from the middle for you. Jupiter and Pisces energy. This is the wish fulfillment card. Okay. Yeah, things are, are, are changing here. <laughs> things are about to get real here. Nine of Cups. We're one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. This is fulfillment. This is attainment. It's things coming to fruition. And we see you here, still here, waiting on this bench, able to get up at any moment. Grab all those cups and go. And maybe some of you are, are on the verge of that, or you have. But they're coming in here with a cup, okay? It's like this Two of Cups has handed it over to the King of Cups and said, please help me with this so I can do this right. 
and coming in here with empathy and not coming in in an energy that you could say would be combative, you know, but coming in here in a really open and emotional way with the truth. And that's also putting that 10th cup here and getting us into the 10 of cups. Again, the end of a cycle, no contact, no communication and or in separation because some of you are long distance. And the renewal. And that deduces, of course, in 201. And that's the new beginning. And that's the potential that is still here. And the opportunity for that. Were you in the Ten of Cups? And we're also seeing what happened here in the Ten of Pentacles. So had you, were you building a life together? For some of you, there is an energy around family energy and children. It's not for everyone, but it is here. And it could be around what was planned as well. But were you building a life? Were you, had you built a life or was it on the table? It's definitely here on their mind. I mean, it's on the table again. Actually, it wants to be here. Yeah, this is definitely more than the Four of Swords was just sliding off here. The lovers also just wanted to slide off and it came in reverse. So they have some regret. Also, bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords in reverse. Apologies. Right here with the truth right here with Lady Justice. Yeah, so this is the truth, yeah, of how they feel. There's definitely a making amends energy. Exactly a what else is truthful coming in here? I feel like you know that it's around the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. They're regretting a lot of things here because especially regretting how they left things leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because they love you. We already know that. Lovers in reverse. Gemini energy, Venus energy, Archangel Raphael. The angel for wanting to fix what is broken. So this is around the breakup energy. And it's telling me too that there was some discord, some possibly some arguments. But what is definitely here are regrets, bad decisions. Here, something obviously around this other pentacle, whether it's just their ego and commitment issues or it's something else, because they're coming in here again. They're fulfilling your wish of being honest about how they feel, telling you how they feel. And what else is, what else is coming through here with the wish fulfillment? Well, they're coming. <laughs> it's the two of wands, Pisces Mars energy. Pisces. And they're holding this world here. So that's... Mars is the planet of action and passion and also completion. It's like how you do things. It's the beginning and the end. And this is an Aries energy, but Mars, of course, is bringing in Scorpio as well, which we saw in that death energy of their, like, leaving their ego at the door, coming in in a different vibe. But this is also bringing in more completion energy because that's the world. It's a little world there. Divine number, divine timing, completing a goal, completing... A lesson which we saw in the Eight of Cups in reverse as well. Something that they totally regret doing or not, or you could also say not having done, like making a decision around commitment. I feel like it's something, yeah, I mean, it's this other pentacle, whatever that is. They're regretting it. And so that's coming through here with this world card energy of having worked that out. It's karmic debts paid, obstacles out of the way. And coming here with their goal, which obviously is to tell you that they love you. And that's the truth. The truth is they love you. Wish fulfillment here is in what else? Because again, that nine of cups, this cup here, the two of cups and also the king of cups. I and mean, we're going past the ten of cups here. You know, that's the life together. That could also be around. Hello. I don't know why I do that. I sit and I see sometimes the camera is going to die. Sometimes I'm not warned. Anyway, sorry about that. The camera just died and I just didn't catch it. So again, you know, it could also be around blending families, extending a family, you know, bringing family, you could say life in, or blending families. I think I already said that. But also... Even introducing, that's what I wanted to say, if that's where you were at. That's the wish fulfillment here, and it's bringing in the Ten of Cups. And of course, we're seeing the Two of Cups, and this can be around marriage. And so can this little world card. 
this little world, excuse me, here within the two of wands. Because this is a completion energy. It's like completing the picture. It's a life-changing decision. And it can include marriage. But it's getting closer to you, their soulmate. And we see here a validation of that in the lover's card. Though in reverse, that's because there's regret here. And this is what they're regretting. It's connecting with the Four of Swords. And we saw the Three of Swords coming in. And there they are up on the wall, you know, telling us that the actual breakup, the around what happened. And for some of you, maybe, I don't know if it was just one particular fight or something that then it happened. But obviously, when those things are happening, there's a buildup, isn't there? There's reasons for that. But it, they're, on, they're here on the wall now. So it's telling me, probably all of us, what we know that this is the past energy. Because you go in the Four of Swords for the renewal, for recovery, for rest. You know, that they're up. No more. They're, they're up on the wall. And you lay that fourth sword down. So it's there, you know, and that's the sword is transactional energy. It can be obviously discord too, and it can be conflict. It can be a lot of things. But this is not the energy that's coming through. This sword today, the transactional energy is, the, is holding the clarity in the relationship. It's holding the truth. It's holding the information. So we know they're getting out of here. Rose-colored glasses off here with the stained glass window. We know that they have this sword already. It's really clear. And honestly, I feel like you're both out of here because the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords are here. So while it's both a balance of their energies for the truth, for this communication to come through, it's also telling me that you're both here, ready to communicate. And that communication is going to be going on here. So it really is like more like... A spinning energy for me of just getting out of here maybe not quite yet but that sword of transactional energy now you might be taking that sword just a little bit of defense energy perhaps and just feeling a little bit still a little bit a lot hurt still because we're seeing that on the seven of pentacles in reverse that it's almost like you've given up you have given up you're about to give up and as I talked about, they better get a move on. It does look like they are. You know, this is what you've been waiting for here in this energy, for them to make this choice. Also, there's between two wands here. Two pentacles, two wands, a passionate energy around the energy of love. Holding on to one, that's you. And holding on to the world card and making this decision. And this completion energy, which again, could include something really a major commitment here, a major proposal offer. But that proposal could also be just talking again, seeing each other, moving in, whatever that is around the wish fulfillment. But there is something here, it's kind of bolted down. You know, what is that? Again, is that just their ego? Is it something more? But I'll tell you, they regret what went on here in the Three of Swords. And third party energy, again, I really feel like it's your person up in their head and the commitment issues and not sharing how they feel. But of course, third party energy can also be around romance, work, money, whatever that is. And that's what's coming in here. Look, with this conversation, coming out of the Four of Swords, coming here with the regret, with the bad decisions and moving forward here and communicating. And by the way, an apology too. We already know that. The making amends energy is pretty strong here. But it's a strong validation. Ten of Swords, Sun and Gemini. It's in reversal energy. In fact, they're not just apologizing. They're, they're asking, excuse me, for forgiveness. Connected to the justice. I mean, that's a pretty intense energy. They're wanting to move past whatever happened. It's a new, it's definitely a new cycle here. Whether you, you keep on moving away or you bring those feet back in here, I definitely feel like there is some hearing out to be had here. And yeah, this is looking really good. The love between you, the emotional vulnerability that's coming in and the wish fulfillment of what, is that all you need and then you're moving on? It doesn't feel like that. You know, I, the love is here still. But of course, you have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will energies, outcomes. They can, they will, and they do change. So today I am going to close the reading.
but I want to end on the Tarot Closet love messages. Channel love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. If you ever feel you are sending it, you're sending it. The telepathic connection between you is quite clear. And we all have telepathic abilities. As you know, it's like a muscle. <laughs> You have to practice. Sometimes you don't know when you're sending or receiving them, but it's like when you pick up that f phone and it's you knew they were going to call or you call someone and they say, I was just thinking about you. And that can sometimes go on with the channeled love messages, conversations between you. We're going to get more. Will you wait for me? <laughs> I still want you. We belong together. So will you wait for me? talking directly here to this Nine of Cups energy. Will you wait for me? I still want you. We belong together. It's three again. It's the most I take. I received your telepathic messages. I care, I care too much what people think. I'm waiting for the right time. care too much what people think. That's something around that two of pentacles in reverse and that seven of cups in reverse. I have so many regrets. That's the lover's card in reverse. That's yours. And that was also just sliding off. I am sending you telepathic messages. <laughs> okay. I received your telepathic messages. It doesn't always come through. So that's definitely about this is yeah, your connection here, it's just not surprising. Also connecting the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here and the Two of Cups. They could have seen something, heard something, and it's why they're, there's like a timing thing going on, like I better get moving. But of course, they're picky. there's some energy that's being exchanged between the two of you. Just, you know, when you know it's time for something and you look and you go, oh my gosh, if I would have waited one more day, it would have been too late. But something you just knew you had to look at your calendar for some reason, it's that kind of energy. I don't feel good enough for you. So that could definitely be around how they feel, how, why they were holding things back, why they were in their head, why they've been overwhelmed and indecisive. I think that is an energy that's here, but it could also, of course, be a lot more. Give me time. You are never far from my mind. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before sleep. That's it. I want to kiss you. <laughs> Sending in some physical longing. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, that's the fear that, <laughs> that's exactly the fear that's come through in the Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords. I'm sorry I ran. That's the Eight of Cups in reverse that came in. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, the lack of reciprocal energy and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And what they are definitely regretting, that as well, regretting and learning from. My heart is yours. I'm afraid to contact you. I'm sorry I ran. My heart is yours. Are you answering this? Yes, I know you love me. I was scared. I made so many mistakes. I am always with you. In your last... Three channeled love messages, messages from their higher self, which is the energy here today. You are my other half. That's the two of cups. That's also the lovers. It's in reverse. And that's also why there's so much regret because they know this. Putting this here with the two of cups today. I really want to see you. You are my biggest wish. It's the Nine of Cups. Okay. 
<laughs> your reading was really clear today and very hopeful. I really like this energy. I'm going to put our biggest wish card here with the Nine of Cups. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it a lot. I would be so very grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. This helps to keep the channel healthy and growing and moving. So thank you for that. I'm sending you love and light, so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading down the road somewhere here at the Tarot Closet. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.